Hello walkers and welcome back to City Walks, the channel where I walk you around cities or occasionally nature walks and discover things with you, explore and point out little details like the ironwork on this awesome building here. Um, we are today in, <coughs> excuse me, Angers, France, Angers, France, uh, which is on the Main River, M-A-I-N, and we are starting off in um, Place, ooh, Place de Réalement. And I don't know what that means, but I have a suspicion that it has something to do with these uh, tram tracks, or maybe there was a train station here at some point. Not really sure. We have had a ton of rain today and over the last few days as we biked from Saint Nazaire to Nantes. Last night we spent in the night in a little town between here and Nantes. Beautiful little place on the Loire. Uh, but we are here today and I will say that um, <laughs> they keep saying the rain is going to end and it just doesn't. Um, we are at, it's about almost seven o'clock, about 6.45. And I'm going to walk you around down um, here today in this old section. I've been here a total of three hours. So I've read a Wikipedia article. Wikipedia article. I've gone to the castle uh, and walked around for about 15 minutes. And so that's where we are. I'm going to flip you around so you can see me really quickly. One, two, three. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide, your co-discoverer. I say co-discoverer because, as I just explained, I'm not an expert in a lot of these places, but I do enjoy finding little details, uh, little nuggets, and sharing them with you as I wander around. Sometimes we take long turns. Sometimes we go down blind alleys. Uh, but mostly we, we just find our way as we uh, use serendipity to guide us. I'll flip you around again. Oh, one, two, three, there we go. Uh, it is 59 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it's quarter of seven in May. And I have not been down the street, but we hopefully will come back up that street. We're gonna go over, make our way over to the what do you call it? <laughs> Cathedral and the castle. We can't go into the castle because it's going to be closed. Uh, and they do charge uh, an admission fee. And um, policeman's going in to get a ice cream, I think. Uh, anyway, it's very cool. It was. I'll share with you what I do know about Angers before we sort of wander about and discover, co-discover. Uh, it's been around for thousands of years, this as a some sort of settlement, whether it was uh, Neolithic or Roman or medieval. Um, and it is the home of the Plantagenet dynasty. This is a, you just see all these great, <laughs> I love these French cities. I'm going to go over here real quick because I want to show you this. Um, we're going to go up here. It's kind of stuck out to me. It's called the Hotel Continental. And if you've watched any of the John Wick movies, you will be uh, underwhelmed by this Hotel Continental. That's not to say it's bad or good. I just not as grandiose as the other. But it also has this super cool old um, medieval style house right next to it. And you see that slate tile? One of the nicknames for Angers for a long time was the Black City. And that was because of all the black tile, apparently. Um, we'll see a few more of those style buildings uh, after the castle, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Thank you to our Patreon supporters as I make my way down the street. Uh, I will try to call the street names as I see them. And sometimes they're not always signed. Ugh. Anyway, 
Uh, you guys, I appreciate it. Your support is very helpful. If you want to be a Patreon supporter or give me a one-time donation, again, very much help uh, appreciated. Not necessary, of course, um, but there are links to Patreon, to PayPal, and uh, Kofi. So please feel free to do that if you're into it. In the description of the YouTube video, I forget that, and in the web page, check out City Walks Virtual Tours if you want to see a web page. These walks are sorted on there um, by location, by walk type, uh, and by keyword. So take a look. Let me know what you think. I'm getting the vibe from this area. This is kind of a higher end shishi type section of town. <clears throat> Love all the e-bikes I'm seeing. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So this is in the, the Plantagenets and the Angevin dynasty, and which was separate from France for a long time, I believe. Uh, the king of France actually eventually maneuvered his way into owning this area but the castle we're going to go to was a major stronghold <clears throat> sorry let's just go down the street this is one of this is rue Corn cornel i have to apologize i'm going to apologize once for my pronunciation and leave it at that <coughs> excuse me i've got a little bit of a frog i'll try and avoid that I am proud of myself that, look at this door, <laughs> uh, that I actually remembered to turn the frame rate back up to 60 on this. Yay. Uh, we stopped at our first real boulangerie this morning as we left the little town where we stayed. Something, something, Sourvier, the town. Oh, we had such good pastries. Right, sitting right next to the Loire River, which is pretty uh, flooded right now. I just want to take you up to this the Collège Saint Martin. I want to go ahead and acknowledge that <laughs> there's going to be a lot more to. Angers that I will not cover. <clears throat> I just don't have the time or, quite frankly, the energy. We did a 30 mile, 35 mile bike ride today with a ton of rain, <clears throat> some detours that involved a lot of climbing that we didn't want to do, and a tour to castle. So, thank you for your. Uh, understanding. Place Maurice Ceylon. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that one. <clears throat> I don't actually remember seeing any of this on my earlier walk, but it was raining pretty hard at the time. We're on Rue Saint-Martin, right there on the right, the blue sign in the Rue Saint-Aubin. Aubin. You can see the cathedral towers there. sure what this is. It looks like some sort of official uh, building. And 
This looks like another cathedral. Hmm. The Monastery of Saint Aubin. Pretty cool. I'm going to stay with that until I see another sign. Well, that's what it is, according to the Google. Let's take the Passage saint Eloi. Hopefully it lets us through. Look at these old steps. And <clears throat> I want to look up the name of that cathedral because I was there and then I forgot it. If you have been to Angers and I have missed something or you think there's some important information that would be beneficial, please, please, please share that with us. Um, I would very much appreciate it. Saint Cathedral Saint Maurice d'Angers. Look at this square. How nice is this? One of the benefits of being here in spring, despite the rain, is all the wonderful flowers that are out. You can see this cool covered walkway up there. I don't know what the story on that is. This is the Musée des Beaux Arts on the left. Danger. Beaux Arts Danger. That looks like a old medieval style construction. We'll just poke our nose in this door, which is barred. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, as things go, right? For an empty courtyard. You know, a secret little door there. Not secret, just little. <clears throat> listen, listen to that bird. The castle is from the mm, 1300s, 1000s, 10th century. I can't remember, I need to look that up for sure. Rue Toussaint. And I think we're gonna go down here and around the corner, if I recall correctly. See the ominous clouds above. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen potted magnolia trees. It's kind of cool. Jardin de Beaux Arts. I don't know about the ages of these buildings to the right, but <clears throat> it's like an old part of the wall they're built on. 
Look at this. Uh, I assume it's, uh, what do you call that? Wisteria. But it's not wisteria because wisteria is a vine. So, this is never mind that. Maybe jacaranda? That's probably not a deal. If you know what that tree is with the purple flowers, please let me know in the comments section. Look how full these trees are down here. Okay, here is the castle, and it is pretty cool. I mean, it's full on medieval castle, right? And it was known not only for the size, and I'm gonna explain a little bit about it as we walk around, um, but the coloration. There's a, another amazing church down there. You can understand why the Loire Valley is such a popular place to visit and uh, tour which is a city further up. Um, okay, I'm just gonna talk about this tower scene. So this castle from the 13th century or 12th century did not have a keep. And the keep is a central tower. And its purpose, I believe, was to retreat to. And you had elevation, you had people, it was really hard to storm and etc. But these had 13 towers around the edges and since they stick out they protect each other almost impossible to storm those are 90 foot walls with a dry moat around it this is the road we came up when we came into town and had a wonderful view of the castle we're not going to go all the way around and this was the field gate over here because it faced fields at the time and you can see a portcullis in there and there was a draw a bridge and a drawbridge into that to get into the castle. There was another one on the other side. Uh, and you can see the arrow slits and they, the gun loops that they eventually created for artillery. See this beautiful garden down here. Uh, and originally these towers had conical roofs. They stood another I want to say another two stories, two levels, <clears throat> and had conical towers. Um, but with the advent of artillery, those were not as useful. So they flat, they lowered them a bit, flattened them, and put in gun loops, those big holes for cannon. And here is, I guess, the castle parking lot. Oh, and I was going to say, it was noticed for, I think I said, the white and black uh, striping. It was fairly unique. But to think that they built that a thousand years ago, is that right? 1200? No, 800 years ago, sorry. I mean, that's a big deal. The museum inside is pretty cool. Uh, some good information. Some of it in English, uh, most of it in French, which is to be expected, of course. They have a paper hangout, and then they have a audio guide in several different languages. Uh, we are in Place du President Kennedy, actually, is what this is called. Chez Point Point Angers. But that's a pretty nice place in the summer when it's not raining. This was a castle for a long time. Then it was a arms depot for I think a couple hundred years. It was a prison for a while and a barracks until 1947. <clears throat> 
and I guess then it was when it converted over to the uh, historical monument. We're going to duck back over here as well in a little bit, but I want to go out to the wall and show you the Meh River, the main river. That's how I've been pronouncing it until it, it occurred to me that maybe the French pronounce it differently. So this is another gate <clears throat> with a drawbridge. This is the entrance to the museum. Uh, and it looks like they have the gates closed, so I can't really show you the interior, but there's stuff online if you're interested. This dark tower on the end is the mill tower. It used to have a windmill on it at one point. Um, inside, you can kind of see the top of the private residences in the Great Hall. And one other thing I want to mention, because it's really pretty fantastic, they have the world's largest, what they say is the world's largest tapestry. It's actually in a bunch of pieces, but it dates back to the end of the 1300s. And it's called the Apocalypse uh, Tapestry. And it tells the story of the Apocalypse. It was a commission by, I think, King Ren. What's his name? Gosh, I should have better memory. The old town used to extend kind of east-west uh, here and out that direction. There's only really one old, old bridge there. I don't know if that was in existence at the time. It looks a little newer. We've got some river boats. It's starting to get a little sprinkly here. Get my umbrella, my paraplee prepared. <clears throat> and you can see why this would be a good place. So the Man is a shorter river that feeds into the Loire and um, I never really got a full explanation of why they built the castle here. My guess is it was convenient chunk of rock that was pretty defensible um, to defend the borders of Anjou or Angevin territory. Do this now. Putting this umbrella up with one hand is a little tricky, but I'm going to give it a shot. There we go. Got it. I think this is. Is this it? No, I think we went down a different street. It probably seems silly since we're in France, but I do love walking along and hearing people speaking in a different language like that. Okay, we are going to go down Rue Saint, Saint Aignan. Please let me know. Look at these beautiful flowers. Love these trees. Aren't they nice? And this is pretty cool because it's got the old style buildings. It's like a really old, look at the street, the cobblestones. It's just, I'm going to slow down a little bit here. I don't know, obviously there's a crepery there, but I don't know who owns these, if they're apartments. Looks like there's an apartment right here to our left. Maison du Chapelain de Landemore for a year. Maison de la Chapelle de Salve, the 15th century. This house is called La Croissant. I guess we're in the cathedral quarter.
We're gonna keep going this way though. Yeah, here we go. Loges de du croissant. So I think that means the house called the croissant, the croissant. Rue des Fils du and Rue Saint Agnon. But I want to back up and show you the timber and brick and cement or whatever that is that makes up this building. And look at the windows. They look almost original. They're probably not, but I mean, pretty cool to see what the world was like back in the day. Gonna go down here to Rue Saint Paul and make a rank. Look at the old wall and all of everything growing in the old wall. I have to think. And maybe we'll go left here. We'll go left. Maybe? Maybe not. I think I'm gonna go over this way because there's stairs down there. Look at the flowers. <clears throat> They're great. If you go down, you gotta come back up again. And I'm kinda lazy today. This is the fun part. Look at this little overpass walkway. As we wind our way around. I think I'm going back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down. We're Rue de Jacobin. Rue de Jacobins. Uh, that's what that little street was, but we're gonna go down this way. I think I can make a right up here. <clears throat> Rue Saint Christophe. It's cool to know that this is a living city, right? But yes, it has this thousand years of history, 4,000 years of history, but people still live here. They still put out little flowers on their windowsills. There's a woman back there putting soil in her plant pot. All right, this is the cathedral that I can't look up again because I've already forgotten the name. And they seem to be doing some excavation in the front here. Good. We were able to go inside. I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. I will try to do so. <clears throat> Mm. 
This is Place Frappel. You can see the sign there. Looks to be open. Still. When I go in here, if I assume I can get in, uh, I will be removing my hat and I'll be very quiet. Sorry about that wall. This organ is absolutely amazing. Look at the woodwork. or something like that. It's a special style. There's a service going on there. I don't want to intrude. Let's go back out. Bonjour. as I put my umbrella back on. Um, I'm not a particularly religious person myself. However, the, and there, there's definitely some critique that could be leveled against an expense of this sort, but 
the fact that people pool their resources for whatever methodology they use for that to create something of beauty and something to be used collectively I think is pretty beautiful. And that church, this church, this cathedral certainly is beautiful. How does one walk around this place and not be just happy about it? Oops, I went and made a wrong turn. Oh, I didn't make a wrong turn, I just missed it because it is covered up. A bummer. It's the Adam House and it's um, apparently this really cool example of medieval architecture, similar to what we saw earlier, but uh, yeah, you can kind of get an idea from the drawing on there, but not quite the same. Bummer. Well, let's keep walking a little bit and see what we can see. We are on Rue Chaperonnière, which is not too far. Yeah, we're headed down to um, La Place Réalement, where we started. But we're going to make a left before we get there, because why not? I do want to show you this bookstore, this bibliotheque. Uh, just because it's fun to see in the shop window sometimes. We've got some men's fashion wear here. A couple different stores. Go down. Let's go down this street because we saw that earlier. Rue de la La Aiguillere. A I G U I L L E R I E. <laughs> mm, that's a tongue twister for me. I'm curious about this house though. It looks like they had a cathedral and they built a house on top of it. And I'm kind of wondering if it's part of the cathedral. Looks like it's separate. Still, pretty cool, pretty cool. Monument historique. Palais Episcopal. So it's an Episcopal church. Look at this. So this is kind of the style we've been seeing, right? Uh, that medieval half timbered stuccoed, filled with brick type uh, construction. Very cool. Mm, 
getting a little wind here. Crossing Rue de Chenouan or so. Looks like there's some street work going on. Whoa! Tried to do a little balancing act with the umbrella and it did not go well. <laughs> Walking in the wind, trying not to get droplets on the lens. Let's cross over here. Kind of a modern shopping center off to the right here. This is why I like walking around these cities without too much of an agenda. Like, look at that building. I'm gonna tuck down here and we're gonna loop around. I was planning on going right up the street, but I'm gonna go straight. So up that way is the Place de Rail Mall. École Communale des Garçons on Rue Badenier. Badenier. Um, looks like a, I can't even guess, but communal school for boys, I believe is what that translates to. Looks abandoned. Got some old plants dead in there. I right, call communal de fils. De fille. Yeah, something like that. Seems to be a bar district. So down there, to the left, is the river, and up to the right is the Place de Réaumont. We're going to go down another block or two, because why not? The Maestro. Looks like a fun place. A lot of hamburger places I'm noticing here, which is strange because I haven't seen a lot of American tourists around. I haven't heard many. We seem to be the only ones. Well, we've seen a few, but a nice couple from California the other day, they were doing a big hiking tour, six week hiking tour. Sushi restaurant. That's Rue Valdemar. 
Take a peek down there. Quaint is this. Rue Saint Lô. More cool houses. There we go. Rue Saint Georges. Oh. We'll say the cigarette smoke here is thick. California restaurant. Somebody up there smoking a cigarette. I'm not sure if it's an apartment or something else. Interesting. Rue de Mail. We're gonna go up here and make a right on Rue Lenapivie. Man, that's a tough one. Nice little Place, Place, de Pil Place du Pilori. Sounds like somebody might get burned. Look at the stonework, the ironwork, all along here. You got these sort of chain stores, the cost, uh, super dry store, I assume that's a chain. Uh, orange is a foam place. And above, centuries of history. Some dresses in the windows. Sapotil is the store name, I think. Ooh. FNAC, that's a big electronic store. Loved going in the one in Knott's. Looks like it goes all the way up there. It's like a Best Buy, but better. <clears throat> Way better. Not sure what this old facade is from. Some sort of church. Isn't <laughs> that awesome? Hotel de Pince, 16th century private mansion. Hmm. 
Okay, my friends, we are back at Laplace Réaumont. The rain is almost leaving for a minute or two, and the sun is trying to break through, and all is good in the world. So, thank you very much for joining me on this city walk through Angers, France, and uh, I hope you'll join me for the next walk. I'm not sure where it'll be, but I will take you with me. So until then, keep on stepping.